Located in the eastern part of the 22nd state, Auburn, Alabama was founded in 1836 and derived its name from a line in a poem by Oliver Goldsmith. The hub of this quintessential southern town is Auburn University, which was founded in 1856 and boasts a population of just over 27,000 students. Set in bucolic surroundings, the university is known for its pastoral beauty and has been named among the top 10 most beautiful campuses in the United States. As an SEC team, Auburn football is king and fans pack the 87,000-seat Jordan-Hare Stadium on game day, outpacing the city of Auburn's population of 54,000. Auburn University also has a rich heritage of academic excellence and in 1930 became one of the first colleges in the United States to offer a degree in aeronautical engineering. While Auburn has proud history and tradition, down the road from the university is a plant that is anything but traditional. GE Aviation's Auburn plant is dedicated to bringing additive manufacturing or 3D printing out of the shadows of prototyping and into the large-scale production arena. Often called the new industrial revolution, additive manufacturing is changing the way parts are designed and how they are produced. Parts are made directly from a 3D CAD file, which is sliced into individual layers and then uploaded to a DMLM or direct metal laser melting machine. The machine fuses layers of metal powder together, one layer at a time, as thin as 20 microns until a part is grown. Additive manufacturing is significant here in Auburn because of the disruptive technology to both manufacturing processes and the very products that we can produce. Starting today with the fuel nozzle, we're able to introduce a very new technology with DMLM that is able to both differentiate the design of the product, but here in the plant, really bring a different skill set and a manufacturing technology never introduced at a high volume rate in the aviation industry as we are doing here in the footprint today. The fuel nozzle plays an important part in the operation of a jet engine. Using additive manufacturing to produce the nozzle has enabled engineers to design a part that is lighter, stronger, and more efficient, helping to reduce the carbon deposits or coking that can occur. But additive manufacturing of metals isn't all that is being done at the Auburn plant. 3D printing is supported by a variety of other processes. Here in Auburn, not only are we doing the DMLM additive manufacturing processes, we continue with all the post-processing manufacturing technologies, including EDM, heat treating, airflow, water flow, and various inspection technologies that non-destructively test and inspect these products, all done here at the Auburn facility. At full production, the plant will be manufacturing up to 45,000 fuel nozzles per year, with 100,000 produced by 2020. The nozzles are made of the cobalt chrome super alloy using rows of DMLM machines. So what's next on the horizon for GE's Auburn manufacturing plant? In coming years, we will also continue to support both the fuel nozzle production as well as future additive programs for various engine programs and various parts that are being developed right now and in future years to come.